మైనవి మనిషి ఆలోచనలు అయితే మన ఆలోచనలకు అందని స్థాయిలో అనునిత్యం కొత్త పొంతలు తొక్కుతున్న టెక్నాలజీని కాలానుగుణంగా అనుసరించే వారి భవిష్యత్తు మాత్రం ఉజ్వలం అని అనడంలో సందేహం లేదు నేటి మరియు రేపటి టెక్నాలజీ అంతా ఆర్టిఫిషియల్ ఇంటెలిజెన్స్ అనిమేషన్ లెర్నింగ్ మరియు డేటా సైన్స్ మీద ఆధారపడి నడుస్తుంది అని ఎంతమందికి తెలుసు చేబ్రోల్ ఇంజనీరింగ్ కాలేజీలో రెండు వేల ఇరవై ఇరవై ఒకటి విద్యా సంవత్సరం నుండి లేటెస్ట్ టెక్నాలజీకి అనుగుణంగా బీటెక్ లో కొత్త కోర్సు ని చదువుకునే ఓ అద్భుత అవకాశం నాక్ అక్రిడేషన్ మరియు ఐదు పేటెంట్స్ కలిగిన చేబ్రోల్ ఇంజనీరింగ్ కాలేజీలో కంప్యూటర్ సైన్స్ విభాగంలో ఆర్టిఫిషియల్ ఇంటెలిజెన్స్ అడ్మిషన్ లెర్నింగ్ లో నూట ఇరవై సీట్లు మరియు డేటా సైన్స్ లో అరవై సీట్లు కలవు కౌన్సిలింగ్ కోర్ట్ సిహెచ్బిఆర్ నాణ్యమైన ఇంజనీరింగ్ విద్యతో పాటు వంద శాతం ఉద్యోగ అవకాశాలు కల్పిస్తున్న ఏకైక విద్యా సంస్థ చేబ్రోల్ ఇంజనీరింగ్ కాలేజ్ చేబ్రోలు గుంటూరు శ్రీ గురుభ్యో నమ బయోమెడికల్ ఇంజనీరింగ్ ట్వంటీ టూ జూన్ డయాథెరపీ సో టోనోమీటర్ ఫర్ ఐ ప్రెషర్ మెజర్మెంట్ సో దీస్ ఆర్ ద వేరియస్ అడ్వాంటేజెస్ రిగార్డింగ్ so high accurate uh, very good in proper position portable device so another tonometer presenting here perkins tonometer so what is the shape and uh, structure for the perkin diameter already shown for you so in this perkins tonometer so just it will use the by prism like uh, appleton tonometer so when the doctor or uh, physician focus this light beam into the cornea so he will monitor the healthiness of the cornea and eyeball so the readings are very consistent and comparative quite well comparative to the appleton tonometer so these tonometer has uh, some advantages handheld device very horizontal and vertical bidirectional for small uh, so for pediatric purpose and uh, senior patients this type of tonometer regularly use so these are the perkins tonometer some portable device so very costly so let us took a, a look on some video clipping recording hey And it's the same principle, the same technique, but rather than using it on a cell lamp, use a handheld one, sometimes with the headrest, sometimes without the headrest. The same basic technique, except using a handheld instrument and just as valid, just as accurate. And again, using the one-touch technique, much less likely to cause any damage to the eye surface. So the first thing we'll do is put some anaesthetic in the eyes. So if you look up towards the ceiling just now, we dribble that in. So every participant see the procedure. Give me tissue. Is that nips a bit? First, because the tonometer will be operated by the ophthalmologist. Disposable prism heads again. Get it into position, and just the same as the big one, we're going to insert the prism head into the holder, making sure. But the wee flat bit is at the top, so it's sitting nice and flat along the horizontal. <clears throat> But he set the instrument up to read at 18, like I did the last time on the Goldman. That's my one-touch technique. That's my safety point. And if you look up towards the corner of the room up there, using the brow bar, get the instrument position just to drop in place, pull the top lid out of the way, almost touching the eye, 
bring yourself across, drop it into place, check the Myers, and that's almost exactly correct. So pressures are about 17 in that case. Nice and straightforward, nice normal pressures. This is another tonometer, which is the last category, pneumatic tonometer. So by using this tonometer, so doctor touch this device by the diaphragm, which is covering somewhat of nodule. So by using this device, it is connected to central chamber, so which containing corresponding air bubble, which is a transfer electronic transducer. So the principle of this type of tonometer, just it converts the air pressure to recording on paper strip and IOP, etc. So let us see the pneumatic type tonometer. So this is the tono pen. So it is another, uh, another uh, type of device. So it's very like pen structure, tone open. So it is based upon the computerized pocket tonometer. So it can just convert the incoming waves into somewhat of electrical waves. So the principle of this tone open, so the wave from the internally analyzed by the microprocessor. So three to six estimations of the pressures are required for this tonometer. So this is the dimension of this tone open, 18 centimeter length, approximately 50 to 60 grams. The Rikert Tonopen Avia handheld tonometer is the next generation in the Tonopen family of applination tonometers. A wide range of patients are considered to be at risk for glaucoma and may need routine screening. The Rikert Tonopen Avia tonometer offers the medical community a simple and accurate option for patient screening. The instrument is lightweight, convenient, and accurate. Its handheld design, compact size, and self-contained power source make it easy to use and a valuable tool for performing intraocular pressure screenings in the office as well as out of the office. And it's patient-friendly too. Readings can be taken from any position and the patient does not feel discomfort when the device is gently tapped against the anesthetized cornea. In a matter of seconds, the LCD readout displays an average of up to 10 IOP measurements along with a statistical confidence indicator. Children, the elderly, wheelchair-bound patients, and soft contact lens patients can be examined easily. The simple handheld design of the device means that it can be easily used by a physician, nurse, or technician. The first step is to anesthetize the patient's cornea by the application of a topical anesthetic. The next step is to prepare the tono pen of via tonometer for use by placing an Ocufilm tip cover on the transducer. Ocufilm tip covers eliminate the potential for cross-contamination and protect the sensitive transducer from dust and fluids. Be sure to use genuine Ocufilm tip covers with your Tonopen Avia tonometer. 
OccuFilm tip covers are engineered specifically for use with Tunnel Pen brand tonometers and are the only tip covers manufacturer approved for use with the device. Order OccuFilm tip covers from Rikert or your authorized Rikert distributor. OccuFilm tip covers are very easy to use. They are simply rolled on using the integrated cardboard applicator, like this. However, care must be taken to ensure that the OccuFilm tip cover is not applied too tightly or too loosely over the transducer. This illustrates a tip cover with the proper tension. Pleats like these should be seen, indicating the correct tension and allowing the transducer post to move freely. If too taut, the OccuFilm tip cover might introduce resistance in the micro movement of the transducer post, which could cause readings that are too high. On the other hand, tip covers should not be too loose so that they form a fold or a crease over the transducer. Adjust the tension until pleats are evident. It's also important that you bring the tono pen of via to room temperature before use especially if it has been stored in an environment which is subject to temperature extremes. If your patient is prepared, you are now ready to start the measurement process. To initiate the test, press the blue operating button one time only. The tunnel pen of VIA will beep, and 5 8 along with a battery life indicator will be displayed briefly in the liquid crystal display or LCD. This indicates that the tunnel pen of via tonometer has passed the initial self-test. If any other display is shown on the LCD, please refer to the verification, maintenance and troubleshooting section on this DVD. After briefly displaying the 5 8 the green LED will light, and the LCD will display a double row of dashes, which indicates the tunnel pen of via tonometer is ready to measure IOP. You now have 15 seconds to begin the applination procedure. If you exceed the 15 seconds, the tunnel pen will beep, the LED will go out, and the LCD will display a single line of dashes followed by a blank window. This indicates that the instrument is in battery saving mode. To reinitiate the measurement mode, simply press the operating button again, one time only. After the double row of dashes is displayed, proceed with the IOP measurement. Gently applinate or tap the transducer on the patient's anesthetized cornea. Notice how the tunnel pen of via tonometer is perpendicular to the cornea and the taps are light, quick touches. You will hear a click sound with each applination. With ideal technique, you will hear two clicks for each touch of the eye, signaling that a reading was taken on both the inward applination and outward applination. The data field of the LCD registers the number of readings obtained. The tunnel pen of via tonometer takes 10 readings and displays the average. After 10 readings are obtained, the device will beep and the LED will go out at the end of the measurement. The IOP reading is immediately displayed on the LCD. It's that easy. Notice this. So likewise, IOP reading. What is the basic uh, aim for this type of tonometer, sir, to evaluate the IOP readings? It is the way how to evaluate the IOP reading by using this uh, tono pen model. So that we have to understand. Smaller two-digit number to the right of the IOP measurement. That is the statistical confidence indicator expressed in percent. The higher the statistical confidence percentage, the more reliable the reading. 
In this example, the average of the readings is 16 millimeters of mercury, with a statistical confidence indicator of 95%. This represents a very reliable measurement. If you are satisfied with the results, the test is complete. The next topic, uh, diathermy. So actually this type of uh, diathermy, most popular therapy, especially used for uh, ophthalmology as well as generalized general medicine. Here, then this is the general medicine topic, not for ophthalmology department, just a general topic. So the basic principle of this type of uh, diathermy, the high frequency electric circuit is used to produce heat in the body tissue this type of diathermy application and this, and this type of diathermy application uh, requires it will be implemented in two ways number one by using psychotherapy and by using surgery method so while while writing the examination we have to recollect all subheadings themes etc so this type of uh, procedure diathermy performed on the patient body by psychotherapy model and surgery model. So let us look what is about these all. So this is a slide indicating so what is the various diathermy representation. So number one is monopolar and number two is bipolar. So in the monopolar so somewhat of uh, devices are implantable where in the bipolar we have only diathermy unit and some cable unit and we have to place uh, active electrodes inside the patient body bipolar whereas in the mono single polar so we have somewhat of patient plate inside the uh, bottom tissue of the particular patient body. So these are the various uh, types of models picture which is used in the diathermy. So he in figure A how this diathermy device is placed on the human tissue. Figure B, neck part. Figure C, bone, thighs. Figure D, knee part, bottom knee, shoulders. So likewise. So by using just this treatment, we have to produce some heat in the body tissues where it will require. So this is the practical diathermy machine. Let us look some video clips regarding this. Diathermy can be applied to the patient. Here we are using capacitive plates. The plates should be parallel and facing one another with a target region in between the plates. The plate should be 2 to 10 centimeters away from the skin surface. If you're going to be using a thermal version of shortwave diathermy, this is usually a continuous shortwave diathermy, you should use a towel to absorb any moisture that might occur. The patient will often not feel very many sensations but occasionally they may feel a slight tingling or warmth. For thermal diathermy, this is appropriate. I have set the device for a 20 minute treatment time. I have chosen a continuous waveform, the capacitive plates, and now I'm going to increase the intensity until the patient feels a gentle warmth. How are you feeling? Good. Let me know when you begin to feel anything. See, in this way, some heat uh, will be delivered to the body issue. So doctor regularly ask the patient uh, whether he feel comfortable for this 
heat. So let us proceed. There. Okay. We're just going to leave that there. You can let me know at any time if you are uncomfortable. Just move out of the way, and we can come and shut off the unit. Shortwave diathermy can be used in a non-thermal fashion using a pulsed waveform. We're using capacitive plates for the shoulder region. Again, the plates are positioned 2 to 10 centimeters away from the skin. And in this case, since it is non-thermal, a towel is not necessary. I'm going to choose a pulsed waveform. I've chosen my capacitive plates, and now I'm going to gently raise the intensity. Because it is non-thermal, it is not uncommon for the patient to not feel any particular sensations. So this is the basic uh, definition for diathermy. Very important for short answer. Define diathermy. So high frequency electric circuit used to produce heat in the body tissue so the diathermy in medical applications just has two categories one is psychotherapy and one is surgery model so diathermy in the psychotherapy diathermy in the surgery department so these diathermy may be popularly used in application of high frequency electromagnetic energy so by using high frequency electromagnetic energy this type of diathermy can be implemented and this diathermy it is used to uh, generate heat in the body tissues similarly it will produce somewhat of uh, heat so that heat produced by the uh, resistance of the tissues so in our unit number two we have electrodes and what are the body tissues explanation done in there so in this diathermy more resistance uh, will be monitored so these are the some significance of diathermy in the psychotherapy so for this uh, diathermy implementation procedure in the psychotherapy used electrodes so the size of the electrodes are very big size of the electrodes are very large and the current produced by this procedure has high frequency procedure heat so this high frequency produce the heat by ohmic dissipation in the tissue to stimulate the muscles of the body so we have to bring just type of this type of procedure can be for the paralysis patients and for psycho therapy for psychotherapy for orthopedic this type of diathermy will be implemented so the current of high frequency produce heat by ohmic dissipation in the tissue to stimulate the muscle of the body clear uh, next uh, the clinical objective of diathermy is to heat the internal tissue without uh, rising the skin temperature and the heating depends upon less angle of the tissue and the heat removed by the body circulation so in the previous video clipping so we observed so doctor ask the patient whether the heat is uh, sufficient or uh, less for our patient convenient so we will follow up the patient regarding on this uh, criteria so there are various types of this uh, psycho diathermy short wave microwave ultrasonic therapy so this is the short wave uh, diathermy so from tomorrow class mana aalochanaku andistayalo anunichcha kotta pontalu tokutunna technology ni 
కాలానుగుణంగా అనుసరించే వారి భవిష్యత్తు మాత్రం ఉజ్వలం అని అనడంలో సందేహం లేదు నేటి మరియు రేపటి టెక్నాలజీ అంతా ఆర్టిఫిషియల్ ఇంటెలిజెన్స్ అనిమేషన్ లెర్నింగ్ మరియు డేటా సైన్స్ మీద ఆధారపడి నడుస్తుంది అని ఎంతమందికి తెలుసు చేబ్రోల్ ఇంజనీరింగ్ కాలేజీలో రెండు వేల ఇరవై ఇరవై ఒకటి విద్యా సంవత్సరం నుండి లేటెస్ట్ టెక్నాలజీకి అనుగుణంగా బీటెక్ లో కొత్త కోర్సు ని చదువుకునే ఓ అద్భుత అవకాశం నాక్ అగ్రిడేషన్ మరియు ఐదు పేటెంట్స్ కలిగిన చేబ్రోల్ ఇంజనీరింగ్ కాలేజీలో కంప్యూటర్ సైన్స్ విభాగంలో ఆర్టిఫిషియల్ ఇంటెలిజెన్స్ అనిమేషన్ లెర్నింగ్ లో నూట ఇరవై సీట్లు మరియు డేటా సైన్స్ లో అరవై సీట్లు కలవు కౌన్సిలింగ్ కోడ్ సిహెచ్బిఆర్